Hey, welcome back everyone. We have one final segment here at the Northern Center with Derek Estes and Chris Durley talking about the upcoming dinner to uh, recognize one of their own, the culinary of the year. So all morning long, we've been making the butternut squash risotto and we've plated it. It looks phenomenal, but there's one more step. So uh, fill us in on that. So what I did was since we roasted some garlic, roasted garlic and a little bit of olive oil, and then just instead of wasting the olive oil, I like to just kind of drizzle it right on top. So, so that's the oil that you actually roasted the garlic in? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, so it's just so a matter of adding now. just a little oh, bit of oil together. on top of it. What it's going to do is it's going to add just a little, that little additional fat. Uh, and that's going to help with melt, your melt feel of your dish. There's already a lot of cream uh, that was made with the butter and the stock. So you're not really looking to make it too creamy or anything, but it's going to add a ton of flavor right at the end. So it's a little... Just adding that, that little bit of final touches. Sure. You know. Is that the, so. the size of the appetizer? Yeah. Whew. Yes. Whew. You may want to go a little smaller. Um, I think we were all just hungry for breakfast. Yeah, so I don't... What yeah. way to have a better breakfast? Than, you than you saw us. 65, you're not going to leave hungry. Right. You're not going to leave hungry. True. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, Tia and I are going to take our places at our table, oh, and then we're going to let okay. you serve us, Please. because oh. why why not, right, Tia? <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm excited for this. And now that I think about it, I mean, Who's I've, like, over? tried... <laughs> oh, fine. <laughs> what are we on this side? <laughs> okay. All right. There you are. All right. Ooh. Oh, grazie. Uh, yeah. There you go. There you go. Si. All right. Here we go. Are you guys going to eat some too? Yep. Yeah. Here we go. A big bite of everything. Mmm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It does have a lot of vegetable flavors in there, mm -hmm. which I really like. I'm thinking about this as like a first, like a first taste at a dinner too. Mm -hmm. uh, primo piatti. Yes, there you if go. You will. I know. I'm trying to think about how to describe it. I think there's a, a good balance of flavors of mm -hmm. fattiness mm -hmm. and um, salt. Are you happy with it? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with this. Um, there's always ways that can improve. And I probably could think of a couple of different things I could do to change up maybe a little bit. Maybe what would they be? More salt. Maybe my chicken stock might have had a little too much vegetables in it because it's very vegetable forward. And I use chicken stock and I'm not getting a whole lot of chicken. That's kind of taking the back burner. The butternut squash really took a front burner, mm -hmm. which is great. Yeah, but I if I like wanted, that. But if maybe I might want to tweak it a little bit. And it's all about tweaking and finding your balances. And really, it's whatever you enjoy. It's not about, you know, it's not about being perfectly correct. It's always playing with food and exploring a new possibility of what, what you can do. Chris, thoughts? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bad timing. That's Bad timing. Mm -hmm. That's a great thought. Uh -huh. that's Is thought. it too late to ask for seconds already? Oh, go for it. Cool. That's my thought. Yeah. No, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a simple man. You know, it's got, it's got levels to it. It's got layers. Um, it's got a beautiful, I, the squash comes through beautifully which I really love. It's got a nice acidity to it. Um, it's got a forwardness from the, not a forwardness, excuse me. Um, the salt's pulling out a, a nice amount of flavors. I get the garlic too that comes through nicely from that little top of the oil you put on there, which I really like. And the rice is just cooked beautifully. Um, I love the creaminess that comes through without any cream in there. That butter, um, how you said, just will bring that emulsification out worked really nicely. So that was a fun little trick to, to see. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to see this one now that I've had the first stage to see what the appetizer is going to be and if you're going to make changes yeah. to it and yeah. how different it'll be at the dinner. All right, so. Tio, I think we just have about a minute left. So your final foodie review. Well, my final foodie review is I Get think ready, that I, I, well, I think that this is an excellent <laughs> dish for a picky eater that wants mm. to elevate their food eating experience because there's no no crazy flavors in here. I mean, it's rice, chicken stock, it's vegetables mm -hmm. that aren't too crazy, um, but it, it elevates it a notch. It's not just like plain white rice and chicken and broccoli and or something. And yeah. broccoli, right? Yeah. So um, I think even the the picky eater will enjoy this. Hey, that's a good review. Yep, Take absolutely. It? Well, I'm looking at the plate that's almost empty, and I'm feeling pretty good about <laughs> yeah, that. You said, you so. said, you said. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> waving to people back there. Uh, anyway, um, 
We're gonna put all this information up on our website. Again, the dinner is December third, three five thirty. Starts at five thirty. Yep. Five thirty. Open at five thirty. Dinner starts at six. Sixty-five dollars a ticket. Uh, additional wine pairing if you so choose. Right. Cash bar and fifty tickets only. And there's like thirty thirty. Four. Four left. 34 left. Get them while you can. High five. Thank you. Thank you so much. This was wonderful. Woo! Have a good day, everybody. <laughs> so.